Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And, you know, back in 2006, Disney did something that I'm not going to lie. I feel really damaged Pixar's brand, and that would be releasing Cars. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Cars was a crappy movie, like, entirely. It makes sense. They they, they, they picked a, a stinker. No, the stinker would have been 2007's Ratatouille. God, that was bad. So bad. I don't understand why I don't like it. Even all these years later, a decade later, still can't care for it. But Cars, I legitimately enjoyed because I saw it way back in the early 90s when it was called Doc Hollywood. It's not even, like, attempting to be a different movie. Cars 1 was Doc Hollywood with the Chevron cars from the 1980s. I think we all, or the 1990s commercials of the Chevron cars. I think we all can pretty much agree. But what the movie did that no one was really expecting was just blow up in terms of merchandising. And I think like Cars 1 itself grossed over $1 billion in merchandising for Disney, which means that uh, a sequel was inevitable, right? And of course, in 2011, a sequel came out with Cars 2. Now, Cars 2 departed from what Cars 1 was attempting to do. So Cars 1 was basically Doc Hollywood, Michael J. Fox movie, highly recommended, good film. Cars 2 was... Mater. It was all about Mater because Mater was the breakout star. But in the attempt to make a Mater movie, a non-Mater movie by naming it Cars 2, it effectively became The Spy Who Knew Too Little, which was a Bill Murray comedy from the mid-90s. Not the best thing Bill Murray's ever done, but it was kind of like that. Secret Spy, Mr. Bean, dumb shit, right? It was just dumb. Or I'm thinking Johnny English is that kind of gentleman spy take that Rowan Atkinson did. But now you've got Cars 3. Uh, a much more darker emotional take uh, on this on the franchise and and one that is being directed uh, by a first time director Brian Fee who was a storyboard artist on Cars 1 and Cars 2 uh, is now taking over the directorial road uh, or you know reigns for this particular film and it looks well, I'm just going to kind of say it like a bit of a breath of a breath of fresh air for Disney and uh, they just released the Rivalry trailer, and I want to take a look at that, get, get you guys a reaction. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm actually hoping for something kind of remarkable out of this, because Pixar is always good, but when it comes to their sequels, they're not always as good. Uh, with the exception of Toy Story 3, which I cannot watch because I will, I will, I will just cry. I, I cannot get to the end of that movie without breaking down going into the fetal position and just weeping like a child. Now let's take a look at uh, at Cars 3. So... Get ready for what's coming. Jackson Storm is part of the next generation of high-tech racers. A rookie sensation. Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm's in a Jackson class Storm. of his own. Big one. Hey, champ! You had a good run. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement! There he goes. Lightning! No! You'll never be the racer you once were. You can't turn back the clock, kid. But you can wind it up again. The racing world is changing. Treadmills, wind tunnels, virtual reality. Still working on that. And interactive race simulation. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! You have jumped a barrier. Oh! You are on fire. Ah! You are going the wrong way. Turn up, turn up! You have crashed. We got some work to do. I am so excited that I get to train you. Visualize beating this guy. The beach ate me. Every week, veteran racers retire to make room for these younger, faster racers. Have you given any thoughts of retirement? Over here. Okay. No questions. Paparazzi. You'll never be as fast as Storm, but you can be smarter. Good luck out there. You're gonna need it. I decide when I'm done. You are not winning this. I'm coming for you, Storm.
damn, like not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Um, that feels like it has a lot more heart and a lot more emotion than clearly Cars 2, which felt like a really hollow uh, cash grab. I, I, Cars 2 is, is, is arguably, I think anyone can acknowledge, the worst film Pixar's done. I still dislike Ratatouille the most, but Cars 2 is like right above it. Um, this, this one looks like it's a movie that clearly is shit, uh, looking to, to kind of like tug on every emotional string you could think of. It looks like a, you know, like a Rocky film or any kind of comeback movie. You know, you have the, the old, uh, seasoned racer, you know, knocked down by the, by the new up and comer. And of course he's got to get his mojo back. So this, this movie could effectively be called how lightning McQueen gets his groove back. Uh, clearly by hooking up with the younger trainer and leaving behind Bonnie Hunt in, uh, <laughs> in out there in uh, uh, Radiator Springs, where the first movie was. She she was in a previous trailer, the Bonnie Hunt car, whose name I forget. So they, they're they bringing back everybody. Uh, clearly, George Carlin passed away a few years ago, so he's not going to be back, but I noticed the VW bug. I believe Paul Dooley, who was the, uh, the military uh, Jeep, the MP Jeep or whatever, he also passed away, so they've got him in there as well, and I don't quite know how they're going to handle it. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of when Disney does that. They did that with Jim Varney uh, between Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3 when he passed away. And of course, this, the voice for Slinky Dog did a good job, but then Don Rickles passed away so he ended, before he could record his lines for Mr. Potato Head for Toy Story 4, so I don't know how they're going to play that out. Uh, I, and I'll, I'm sure they're going to treat it with like the utmost care and respect. But I liked Paul Dooley. I very much loved George Carlin. So that's going to be a bit hard to kind of, you know, take myself out of because I already know that they're dead. Uh, but that being said, uh, the movie looks good. Uh, Animation-wise, looks looks absolutely amazing. I believe Arnie Hammer is Jackson Storm. Uh, and I, I'm glad to see Arnie Hammer come out and be in more stuff. I think he's a good actor. Never got, like, the big start that he needs. I noticed Nathan Fillion is in it as a person running the uh running the facility so anything with nathan filling in is definitely okay in my book so i'm very happy to see what's going to happen with that but in the meantime uh i'm actually pretty impressed with that trailer it looks like they are trying to really give us a solid good kind of comeback story you know and and in the first movie lightning mcqueen had to be broken down emotionally right ego egotistically uh he was a narcissist he was an egomaniac you know he was so full of himself and he had to be brought back down to reality in radiator springs here he's brought back down to reality by crashing and now he's trying to also become more of the uh probably um the paul newman character you know because paul newman passed away as well so they're not gonna have him in there but i mean you could kind of see lightning mcqueen at the end of the movie going back to radiator springs and training more racers as what we saw at the end of the first cars. So ultimately, I'm I'm more excited for this than I thought I would be. I very much want to see what they do with it, and I'm hoping that it's that it's pretty dope. Uh, but the question is, what do you guys think? You think Cars Three is going to be any good? Is it going to be crap? Is it going to be just another you know way for Disney to milk a billion dollars in merchandising out of the unsuspecting youth of America and the world at large? These are questions I have for you. Write them down in the comments. My name is of course Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.